to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys on this look and this is just a spring look like a pink and gold um, halo eye that I came up with and I just wanted to come on and do a tutorial for you guys because I know that I've been kind of MIA I haven't posted a video in like a month and that's because I've had like a lot of personal stuff going on you know with my family so I, was, I had a death in my family and then I'm trying to plan my wedding as well and I'm one of those brides where I'm like a a DIY bride so you know like anything that I could make myself I'm pretty much making myself so that takes up a lot of my time also but I'm gonna try to you know get back on track and stay on track with my videos I'm gonna try to post at least one video a week and I am gonna do some DIYs on the things that I'm making for my wedding but I kinda don't wanna you know show the stuff that I'm making until after my wedding so I probably won't post those tutorials until after I'm married but yeah so with that being said I came up with this look today and I used a ton of new products in this video because like I said I really hadn't been wearing any makeup because I've just been so busy doing other things so I just you know um, got out a lot of the makeup that I have that I some makeup that I was sent some makeup that I bought so I just used all of that in today's video Everything that I used in this video will be listed in the description box down below just in case you are interested in what a particular product is but like always I'm going to try to mention every single product in the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I do have an open giveaway going on now and it's currently my 5,000 subscriber um, video giveaway and that video has and that giveaway has some really nice prizes in it so make sure you head over to that video to check it out. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. To as to where you can um, find that video so yeah with that being said I'm just gonna stop rambling and get on to this tutorial so if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this look then keep on watching alright guys I'm starting off with a clean face and I'm gonna be showing you today the OMG platinum mask set and now you get a pink a pink facial mask a great a uh, sorry a silver um, mask and a green and then you get a purple which is the one that I'm going to use um, in this video today but I'm not going to use it in the video because I have another video of me um, explaining how to use this mask and showing you how I prep it so I'm going to leave that video somewhere in a card or in the description box down below. Okay next up we're going to be using the, the Lancome Genifique um, Youth Activating Serum and I'm going to be using two Lancome products and the company was so nice to give me these products now this product just helps your skin look smoother and you know more awake and it just it feels really nice on the skin so I always put this on before I apply my makeup alright guys the next I'm gonna be trying a moisturizer that I have been loving and it's from Lancome and it is the Renergy um, lip multi-action ultra moisturizer and this moisturizer is supposed to um, help with firmness wrinkles and dark spots on your face and I do see a dramatic difference in my skin ever since I've been using this product. Next up I'm going to be priming my face with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Alright now I've done my brows already and now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be trying out the new Makeup Revolution Concealer and I think this is in the shade um, C13. And I'm going to use this to prime my lids. And then I'm just going to be setting that concealer in place just with the e.l.f. setting powder. Next up, I'm going to be using this new Juvia's Place palette. I think it's the Dose palette. And I've had this palette forever and I'm just not picking it up to use it. So, yeah. I'm going to start off with this palette and we're going to take that pink shade. And I really don't know the shades right off the top of my head because this is like a pre-recorded video so I don't have the palette right in front of me. 
So I'm gonna use that as my transition color. I'm just gonna buff that all in the crease and all like on the lid. All right, next I'm gonna go in to that darker pink and I'm gonna take that and place it directly in the crease just to deepen up the crease a little. And I'm also placing this shade like, you know, on, on the inner portion of the eye because I decided that I wanted to just do a, um, a halo eye today. All right, to deepen up that pink a little more, I'm gonna go into this last shade in my Morphe 35B palette, and I'm gonna use this shade just to darken up that, um, that crease a little more. So I'm just packing this on the inner and the outer portion. All right, now I'm just taking that brush that I used to apply my um, transition color and I'm blending everything in. Now I'm just taking that Makeup Revolution Concealer and just gonna place that in the lid, sorry, on the lid. And I just want to place this on the lid to make whatever eyeshadow that I use pop. All right, next up I'm gonna be taking this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Lightning Bug. This is like one of my favorite shades. And I'm just going to apply it onto the center of my lid with my finger. All right, next up I'm just using my favorite eyeliner and it is the Stila, um, and it's the, the Stila eyeliner in the shade black. And then I'm just gonna apply a light coat of mascara and this is the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. All right, next I'm gonna be trying out these lashes from e.l.f. But I think in the end, I didn't end up using them because I really didn't like them. All right guys, so next I'm gonna be trying a new primer by Clarins and they came out with six different primers in this line. And um, I think I got the, I think I got the peach to blur my imperfections, like blur your pores. Now this primer comes off really, really ashy, but it works really good and you won't be able to tell once you put your foundation on anyways. So next up I'm going to be using the Farsali Rose Gold Elixir and I'm just going to place that all over the rest of my face to prime my, prep my face for my foundation. Alright next I finally got my hands on the Huda Beauty foundation and I think I got, I got it in the shade Coco. And I'm just going to apply it to one side of my face. I really do like the color match of this foundation. It's my first time using it. So I'm going to apply it and see how I like it. It, it does have a really nice smell to it. <laughs> 
So I think the foundation is really nice. It held up really great throughout the day and it has awesome coverage. All right, next I'm gonna be using that Makeup Revolution Concealer, and this one is in the shade 14, I think. But I really didn't like how deep it was. Like, I don't think they have like my perfect shade. Even though this would probably be nice, I wanted to make my highlight a little brighter, so I mixed in the C13 with it. Alright, so next up I'm going to be trying this new Milani setting powder that I got from the drugstore. And I picked up the shade Banana. And if you watch my channel, you guys know how I love my Maybelline powder. So I'm just trying to try new powders from the drugstore. I picked up a couple. And I decided to use this one in this video today. So yeah, I really like it. And I just highlighted directly under my eyes so that I wouldn't start to crease. Because I am going to cream contour today and I'm going to be using my... Pure Cosmetics Contour Stick. This contour stick is so creamy. I would highly recommend this contour stick. I love it. All right, now I'm just going in with that Milani powder and setting the rest of my highlighted areas. And now I'm going to use my Anastasia bronzing powder in the shade Mahogany. And I ordered this like a day after I ordered the palette. Um, but I, I'm just not getting around to using it. So yeah. Right, next up I'm going to be trying out the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Mahogany and I really do like it. A lot of people um, were saying that this powder is just like the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and that is my absolute favorite so I really love it. So now I'm using my Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner to line my bottom lash line and then I'm just going to pretty much repeat the same steps on the bottom that I did in the crease.
Now for blush, I'm gonna be taking a MAC blush. I'm really not sure what shade this is because it's in a palette, but I'll have it listed in the description box down below. And then I'm gonna take the MAC um, Extra Dimension Blush in the shade Cheeky Bites. And now I'm gonna be using a highlighter from Becca, which is Garnet Glow, which I love because it has all their favorite highlighters all impacted in one. And they were nice enough to send me this highlighter to try out. So I'm just gonna take the last shade, which I think is Topaz, and I'm going to apply that to the high points of my cheeks. And I love Becca highlighters because they are so smooth and creamy and they don't have any glitter in them. So they give you a really nice glow from within. All right, next up, I wanted to add a little bit more shine to my highlight. So I'm gonna be using the Ofra Derma Mineral Powder. And it's just like a loose highlighter and it has like, it really packs a punch. And they were nice enough to send me this and I think I, am, I got the shade bronzed. But this is a really nice highlighter and you get a lot of product in, 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 this, um, in this container. And then I'm just putting that same highlighter in my inner tear duct. And then I'm gonna go in and um, use Opal from that Garnet Glow. And I'm gonna put highlight my brow bone. Next up, I'm gonna just use my MAC um, Fix Plus to um, take away the cakey look on my face. And then I'm going to use my Ofra Setting Spray to set my makeup in place. All right, next up, I'm just using a brown NYX lip liner. And then I'm taking, I think, two different lipsticks from ColourPop, but I'm really not sure what colors. I have them listed in the description box down below. But I really didn't like this combo. Like, I, I don't know, I just, I didn't like how it looked. So I ended up changing it throughout the day. But yeah, this is what I had on for a little while. All right, and that completes the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from me. And don't forget that I have a live giveaway going on on my channel now, my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So be sure to subscribe for your chance to win. Until the next video.